All right. So now let us talk about private equity a little bit in details. What does the word or the term private equity means? I think you have uh, got the idea by now. But anyway, the meaning is that private equity fund is an investment fund which usually is created in the form of a limited partnership. Okay, we'll talk about the structure uh, which invests in and restructures private companies. Okay, so what they do is they look for target companies which these comp uh, which the firms feel that is not currently being managed uh, in a proper way. It is not running at their optimum levels. Okay, so they they see more pet potential in those companies. So what they do, they will acquire those firms. They will acquire those companies, then uh, revamp the operations, try to enhance the value in that firm, and then again sell it off at a good profit margin. Okay, so this is what is the business model of a private equity firm. So who are the targets of PE firms? It is a young firm that is a growth firm. It can be a matured firm as well. Okay, so PE firms can also go for LBO transactions by matured firms or they can also target distressed firms as well. Okay, so again, the process will remain the same. But distressed, distressed firms are basically targets both for PE firms as well as hedge funds as well. Okay, but the... You know, investment style is a little bit different for uh, both the type of funds. PE firms will stick with the firm. It will, you know, try to revive the firm, okay, generate value and then sell it off. So it is going to take a longer time horizon. But in case of hedge funds, they don't have that much time, right? They are just looking for an exit opportunity. So essentially, why will a hedge fund buy distress firm? Because they might have seen that uh, this particular company might you know is going for insolvency it is uh, in a miserable state so it is currently valued very cheaply okay so they will just uh, take that opportunity and buy that firm as soon as the information is uh, in, out in the market so now if anyone else okay who is a genuine buyer who wants to uh, acquire that company for his uh, own benefits for you know getting the synergies he, he, he it was looking for a eminent target in that case hedge fund will then sell this company to that uh, buyer okay to that bidder so by making some profits in that transaction so in that case the hedge fund will be having a very shorter long uh, you know shorter horizon in that distressed firm on the other hand pe firm will take you know stick with the firm for a longer time okay Okay, so let us move on and understand the transaction process as well. Okay, so uh, if you talk about pri private equity firms, they usually tend to acquire, they prefer to acquire 100% of the stake so that there is no disturbance from any other stakeholder. Uh, well, but in sometimes, even if they are able to get more than 50%, they will go ahead, go ahead with it because at least the majority control will come under them. Okay, so they will acquire stake into the target company. They will delist the company if it is a public listed company, right? It will get delisted because a listed company will have uh, public shareholders, right? So if the entire stake has now been purchased by this company, so now it becomes a private company. So the listed company will get delisted. Then the private equity firm will can make changes in the management of the company, right? They will try to improve the financials. They will try to bring in some value in the company, do some modifications with the operations, make some changes in the financial structure, in the capital structure. And once they see that the company's value has increased significantly, they will start searching for uh, buyers and then make an exit from that company. Okay, so this is the entire uh, process of a private equity transaction. Now, in this process, what all they do, okay, in order to increase the value or in order to position that business in the growth journey. So, what all they are going to do in this particular uh, way. So, number one, they are going to be actively involved in the management of the company. Okay, hedge funds never bother about this. PE firms will actually get involved in the transition. What is going wrong with this company, right? Why is the... Uh, costs so high for the products why is the margins not improving right so they will get dig into you know dig into that particular uh, company now what why according to you they will get, do all this and how do they know all that okay because there are PE firms which you know specifically target companies into 
some specific uh, industries only so they are very much experts into that industry they understand very much what metrics need to take care of uh, how is the you know cost going to improve how the margin is going to improve so all these things they are already uh, you know well versed with all these things okay so they are going to get into the industry into the company get actively en uh, engaged into that they will advise the management okay what steps need to be taken they can also uh, go for management rotation as well okay that means they can change the ceo or any other executive in the company if required then uh, they will simply uh, you know once all these things have been done it will take some time for the company right it is not going to uh, happen that within one month uh, so much of value will get generated right they will have to wait patiently okay and see the value coming in right the steps that they have taken will show some results over a period of time okay it can take two three years four five years in order to have the value enhancement and once that process is done okay when they feel that their uh, profit target is you know likely to get achieved they will start looking for bidders and take an exit from that business okay so this is what our uh, p business p fund functions let us talk about the PE form structure as well. Okay, how the PE form are being structured. So usually it is a limited partnership. And uh, in this case, we have partners. Okay, so there are two types of partners. One is general partner, other is limited partner, GP and LP. So general partner is the person, is the, uh, you know, that partner who is going to actually manage the firm okay he will be the person who will be looking after the target companies which company to acquire how to improve the operations so all the work is being done by the general partner okay which is or uh, i think in your uh, school colleges if you are uh, if you have some commerce background you must have known working partner sleeping partner partner right so general partner is more like a working partner okay he is going to look after everything so post investment advisory so basically all these are the activities whatever pe firm is going to do is taken care of by general partner so in that case what is the limited partner doing he is only infusing capital into the business okay so he is a he is like sleeping partner he will just provide the capital and sleep okay so this is uh, the usual structure uh, there can be one more structure as well okay in which case the you know the investors will simply hand over the management of the PE firm to some asset management company okay by entering into a contract and then that asset management company will do all that uh, activities okay against a fee and then the profit is split okay so uh, that can also be one structure which is uh, usually followed in the European side but uh, most in most of the cases uh, and especially in the US market this is the structure that is being followed for PE firms that is limited partners in general partner form okay so what is the 220 structure okay this is a very popular 220 compensation structure how the general partner and limited partner are going to get their rewards for the exercise so it is 220 means 2 percent is the management fee that means general partners are going to get the 2 percent fee irrespective of whether there is any profit or loss in the uh, you know in the ultimately uh, in the firm okay in the business so this two percent they are taking for their efforts for being actively managing the business okay so two percent they are going to take and after that if there is profit at all okay if the business is earning profit in that case they will also get 20 percent of the profits as well okay so 220 means two percent management fee and 20 percent share of the profit so where does the rest of the money go this is about the general partner this is taken by the general partner so rest of the money will of course go to the limited partners okay so this is how uh, is the compensation structure uh, defined for private equity firm okay so i hope that has given you some insights into what is a private equity firm how does a private equity firm functions okay and uh, what is the structure and what is a rewarding uh, compensation structure within that firm. Alright, so that's all for private equity.